Hi, this is Melissa Havner, and this is another episode of Psychic in Your Pocket. And today I want to do a makeup look that's inspired by Breast Cancer Awareness Month. That's why I'm wearing my pink t-shirt here. And so I'm going to do a look that is for evening or day if you're feeling a little more daring, but potentially an evening look. And it's going to be mostly pink are the focal colors. And it's inspired by Breast Cancer Awareness Month, which is October. So definitely go pink wherever you can to support those still fighting breast cancer, those who've lost their battle, and those that are yet to be diagnosed through this month of October. And you begin by putting on your foundation. I'm going to be using the new foundation I recently got by Benefit called and it is called Hello Flawless Oxygen Wow Foundation. It's a cream foundation and it's in the lightest color, which is ivory, because I'm very, very fair skinned. And I've already done one side of my face, so I'm just going to demonstrate doing the second half of my face so that you guys don't have to sit through the whole thing. But I'm going to use my Beauty Blender sponge to apply the foundation and you just need a little bit to go a long way so I like to put it on my cheek here and then on the forehead here and a little bit on the nose and then of course on the chin and as I said I already did the other side there's a little excess that runs over so you can just put that on your sponge and then you just gently blend it. I like to start at the top. You want to make it even across your forehead and blend it in really nicely so that you don't have any lines. And as I said, I already did this side of my face, but you want to make sure it's blended nicely on each side. And I always get a little bit of circles under my eyes, no matter how much sleep I get. Not too bad, but I always have a little bit there so I always blend nicely under my eye to kind of get rid of those and then you go down to your chin here blend it all in you always want to go under the chin so that it's nicely blended on the neck so there's no line looking like you have a mask on and just blend really nicely you always tend to have redness around the nose that's a tip that candy johnson gives but it's very true and so you always want to put a little bit of foundation around the nose the areas where you have redness <clears throat> and i'm just going over the other side one more time so it's nice and even and you can spend as little or as much time as you want doing this depending on how much time you have and then the great thing about the beauty blender sponge which I'm using it absorbs the product really well and it helps you apply it very smoothly and evenly and I always go over the tops of my eyes just so every bit of the face has some Then we have our foundation finished. And there's still a little bit of circles here, but we'll work on that a little later on, on the look. I'll show you how to um, get rid of the rest of the circles that you might have under the eyes. So we finish that and then next we want to have next we're going to apply the eye primer and I just like to take a little bit of the eye primer and it's the Too Faced eye primer because as I've said so many times it's my favorite here it is here and we're just going to take a little bit of that and put it on our beauty blender here again 
and just put that over the eye and you want to cover the entire eye and it helps to keep your eyeshadow smooth without creases and keep it on for hours too and you just go underneath here a little bit so it blends with the foundation too and then just go over to the second eye apply that And you always want to make sure you get it in the crease here too, so that your eyeshadow applied at the crease stays on nicely. And then next we would do our lip primer. So I'm going to get my lip primer here, which is also by Too Faced. And it has a great little applicator, so you don't need the sponge. And you just take it and apply it like you would a lip gloss. And it's great for muting your natural lip color to get the full effect of whatever lipstick or lip stain you're going to apply to your look. So you just put it on here. Also, if you choose to put a little bit of eyeshadow, you can put that on your lips too just to make the look match and look nice. Just a tiny bit of eyeshadow on your lips. This will help it to stay on too. And now we are all ready to start our look. Since we have the foundation, we have the eye primer and lip primer now. So we can go right into our, our look that we're going for. So for this look, I'm going to be using my Party Girl BH palette. Here it is. Oops. Yeah. Party Girl BH palette. Because there's some really vibrant, fun colors on this palette. And we're going to do the lid with this really alive, vibrant, hot pink here. Right here. And don't worry, we're going to mute it down a little. And it doesn't look quite as dark as it does here on the palette, but we're going to start with that on the lid. So I'm going to get my eyeshadow brush for the main lid. And I use Coastal Accents and apply this right here on the lid. Then do the same thing on the other side. So that is going to be our focal color of the look, which of course is the bright pink. And then on top of that, by the brow bone or the upper lid to the brow bone, you want a lighter color and you want to do the crease. So first I'm going to do the crease and use my crease brush, which is the BHC S12 brush on this, this brush set. And in the crease, I want to have a bit of a silvery look, a little bit lighter than the pink, but still a little on the dark side. 
because I want the crease to be very dramatic. And then I want to then, after I do the other side, blend it very nicely so that it doesn't look like separate puzzle pieces, as I always say. And then I want to blend it. So for blending, I like to use this brush here, which is the BRCS07. And for blending, I'm going to use the Naked Palette, the original Naked Palette by Urban Decay and I like to use the first color on the palette which is called Version and it's really great for blending. Let's see. Then you want to go over the whole eye to blend it all in. Do the same thing on the other side. Now we're going to apply, and I have backup, my friend Jen showed up, so she's helping me apply, but we're going to apply um, a very light pink color right above the lid before the brow bone, um, and it's from the BH Party Girl palette, a light, almost baby pink. <laughs> Tickle. And then next, we're going to do the brow bone color, which always needs to be a light color. So we will apply a color from the Naked palette, and it's going to be, it's called, oops, it's called Toasted from the Naked palette. And it's kind of a gold pinkish color and it's light, so it's going to be the brow bone color. So that's this brush? Yes, yeah, so we'll use the naked palette brush. And that's the brow bone color. That's okay. And now we want to blend all of it together. So again, we're going to go from the Naked palette and use Virgin, which is the, you can use this brush. Oh, okay. Again. I don't have to clean it up. Okay. No. I actually toasted it darker now. 
It's okay. Oh, it's you can other use side. other side. Yeah. Unless you go over the entire lid to blend it. Interesting that a lighter color can blend a darker color. Yeah. Yeah. Blends nicely. And then we're going to use our focal color one more time just to make sure it has that pop. And it's the kind of hot pink on the BH Party Girl. Now I'm going to apply the mascara, and it's my favorite mascara from Smashbox, the eye brightening mascara. And. You just need a little bit. I have long lashes, so it's just to really open the eye. And you apply it on the bottom as well. Then we have our mascara finished. Let's see if I can get a little more on the end. And next is my favorite part, the blush and the lips. And we've completed our look. So next we're going to do the blush and we'll use the BH Glamour Blush Palette. So now we're going to apply the brush and it's from the Glamour Brush Palette, Blush Palette from BH. And I'm going to use this kind of a little muted hot pink up here on the top row because it's going to match the main focal point of the eyelid. And then we have our blush brush, which is the BRCN24 brush from the Coastal Accents collection. Just want to dab it on your forehead and your nose? Yes. Do the ridges <laughs> away? Yep. You're going to use your hands to wipe the oils. Yeah. Sorry. That's okay. okay. Um, and then also with the blush, you want, always want to blend as well. So we're going to use a lighter color. A lighter color on the... It's much too dark. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. A, a lighter color. <laughs> So we're going to blend now the blush to mute out the color with the lightest shade on the palette. And that's a little more. More. <laughs> that's good. And then do the other side. <laughs> much better and now final thing for the powder we want to lock in our entire look before we do the lips so I'm going to use my favorite highlighting powder by MAC called play it proper and again this color they do not sell anymore so you have to get it on eBay but it's a great great highlighting powder and it's a lock powder also so it's not a foundation but it locks in your look so we're going to use that oh shoot this is pretty wet okay we can use another brush here we'll use this brush 
You can use a foundation brush also to apply your highlighting powder, and this is the BRC S22. So it's a highlighting powder. You always go over the cheekbones and then oops. And then you always go over the nose. And also the more you apply to the nose, it kind of gives a slimming look. If you have a larger nose, my nose is like medium size, but if you have a larger nose, it slims and highlights and it's just got the tiniest bit of pink shimmer to highlight the areas that you want to stand out besides the main focus point of your eye. Mm, that's good to know that yeah. it slims the nose. Yep. And you always go under the chin to blend with your foundation and then over the chin too. And again, usually I would be using my blush brush because it's a little bigger, but you want to Put it all over so it locks in your look. Even Putting the, brow, the forehead? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, lips then. Yeah. Now the lips and we have our look for October Breast Cancer Awareness. So I want a very pink color to, um, to go with the eyes. And so I'm going to use the 3D Glitz Glamour Lip Gloss. Yeah. One of my favorites. You guys have seen me use this so many times. Love, 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 love it. really good on you. It looks so bright in the wand. <laughs> and yeah. Thing. And then just to give the lips a little more dimension, we're going to use <laughs> the new lip liner that I got. This lip liner I recently got from Ulta and I love it because it has a great felt tip and it's called Addiction. You can see the felt tip here. It's called Addiction by Revel and you put it in the corners here. And then right underneath the lip line. Not on top, just the corners on the no, bottom. Just the corners, tiny bit like right where the curve of your lip is. To kind of outline the lip gloss. That's it. And then wipe it off. Another tip I learned from Candy Johnson. Yay, Candy! <laughs> and there we have our completed look. And I'll do still pictures and post on Instagram. So definitely check that out. And this is the October Breast Cancer Awareness Look with the focal point of pink accented with darker colors of brown and silver, and then the lip, which is my favorite lip gloss, the Glamour Glitter 3D lip gloss. 
So I hope this has been helpful. And this look is also really good for the heart chakra, which, vi which vibrates with the energy of pink. So if you've suffered any loss or going through any kind of heartache or you've been giving a lot of yourself, it's good to replenish the heart chakra. And so these pinks could definitely help you to do that. Until next time, love, light, and blessings. Bye! Shut it up,